Right, day two of this challenge, and I couldn't have picked the worst week because uh, although there's no rain this morning, it is pretty blustery, and this par four opener is uh, going to be really, really tough. But full bag in play today, so that means all the clubs are in, the big drivers in hand, and it's certainly going to be needed into this wind and see if we can make any better than yesterday. Although, as you will see, yesterday's score annoyed me a little bit, to be honest with you. It was far better than it should have been. And I think, I mean, it'll take some beating for the week, but for all the wrong reasons, I didn't enjoy it. Ball striking was poor, but shown how important a short game is and how it can save you on the day. But I want to play better today. I want to feel better. I want to strike the ball better. I've got my lucky red polo on, so what can go wrong? So, same shot again. A little bit of a pause there because I've had to... And I, ooh. Slight bit of a pause because uh, these cameras look as they're about to blow over at any minute. It is that strong of a wind. We'll try again. I'm a little bit nervous about the cameras more so than the tee shot at the moment. That's how strong this wind is. Right. Not the greatest start in the rough and it's just a case of getting something with a bit of loft and back into that fairway. Oh, back in the game. Sit down. These conditions are absolutely brutal, but oddly enough, I enjoy it. I've still got 110 in, I'm playing a par four and I'm on my third shot. Go ball, go. Oh, do you know what? I get so much pleasure out of a shot like that. E tying into 110 into that wind. Take two putts from here any day. That's close enough, but unfortunately, it's a bogey start. Right, 168 to the flag. It's going to be a nine iron, yeah, nine iron. That's how strong this breeze is at the moment. It's a decent ball if the legs are right. It's going to kick on the bounce. There it goes. Look at that. Nine iron, 168. Nearly went through. Really pleased with the putt, and yet I did think that had gone in, but yet again, afraid not and. Right, if we're gonna take advantage of the wind, it's gonna to have to be on the likes of this hole. Yesterday I was playing uh, six iron in. Today it could be, if we get a decent tee shot, it should be a wedge. But again, it's gonna need a risky one down the left-hand side. Oh, I've nailed it. That's a golf shot and that's going to be over the path. Go ball. Go ball. That's probably 80 yards further than yesterday's tee shot. Same position. Right, I've walked to the brow and had a look and uh, this basin green flag is tucked in left tight to the bunker and I've hit it straight at it and this one come up just a yard short of being perfect. As you can see, carry that bunker and you'll see what happens to this putt. Now there's a massive swing and uh, again, I thought I'd hold the putt but another kick in the nuts but it's a good par. Right, quick chat in what is supposedly a bit of a, uh, a sheltered spot. It's really difficult to film, let alone play. Uh, really pleased with the last two pars. Opening bogey was inevitable, and we're gonna play a hole now, which is uh, 
a par four, but you're going to have to accept it's going to be uh, realistically, it's uh, it's going to be five. Ain't going to get there in uh, in two. I wouldn't have thought, but much better ball striking today. Feel much better over the ball, and already some of the tee shots, some of the iron shots that I've hit. Uh, like I said. I might score as good today, but for me, ball striking and feeling more comfortable is a million miles apart. By now the wind is howling, this is right into it, and uh, again, camera's about to go over again, but uh, managed to get this drive away. Pretty decent, but it's going nowhere. I think we're gonna to have to go for match abandoned. Uh, as much as I hate giving up because it's been such a challenge already to get this far and record uh, the footage, I just uh, I can't set the camera on a tripod without the risk of it blowing over. It's howling into us. That drive there, I bet it's barely made 160 yards, 150 yards. It is so strong back into me right now. And I'm shielding this mic, which uh, you won't quite get the ferocity of the wind, but I'm gutted really. We'll see. Well, it's not looking good, is it? Now, like I said, I didn't like quitting, but uh, that is just too much. I One of the things I absolutely love about Lynx Golf is the challenge it throws up, because what happens is, the wind changes virtually daily as do the conditions and that challenge means that you're changing clubs, you're having to play different types of shots but there's then this which is a different level, it's unplayable, I mean that was absolutely brutal and uh, disappointed that I wasn't able to continue, we're only on day two and I picked a fine week to do this challenge but like I said on the previous clip um, Ball striking so much better, felt as though I could place, you know, I had the club head under a bit more control and therefore the ball as well. It was a weird old game, 24 hours. I changed something slightly in the swing and uh, dropped my hands a little lower today and uh, just felt as though I was turning just a little bit more and then getting through the ball a little bit better through impact as well, uh, hips out the way. So there was a few things that were different in terms of the swing and I don't know, maybe that was it, but uh, golf is a funny old game, isn't it? And uh, like I said, one day, yeah. My dad played um, a few days back, um, best round of his life uh, in, a, in a better ball match and uh, fantastic, couldn't play any better, went out the following day and had a stinker. It's why uh, we lo love this game. I've just realized my microphone isn't, uh, has been tucked away because it's so wet. So hopefully you're picking me up off that audio that's uh, plugged into the camera. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know what you guessed the score would be today, but uh, obviously nil and void. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Right, back to it, Lou. Back on the channel. He's coming early on his day off, and he's going to help. You, you, you reckon that you guarantee that you'll sort me out in uh, half an hour? I mean, guarantee. <laughs> I'm going to go from. That's something from Harry Potter, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we missed that.